I would like the opportunity to go through this resource with you. Um, when you buy this resource, you will have a zip file. Once you open that zip file, you're going to find these files here. We're going to go over them quickly. The first one that we're going to do is Read Me First. So that one is this one here. It's just a PDF and it goes through everything. Well, first of all, it tells you, thank you for purchasing this resource. If you have any questions whatsoever, I give you my email address so that I can address those with you. Um, it also, all of these are clickable. These are my social media. It's my TPT store, my Boom store, and my blog. And if you'd like to join my email list, I would love to have you. Um, you give a lot of freebies there. Um, a lot of teacher tips on how to do different things in your classroom, as well as announcing sales that I have um, on TPT, as well as others that I um, do throughout the year. So this resource includes lesson plans. Um, each of them are one to two days long. Um, I plan them out um, because sometimes people have a 30 minute block, a 45 minute block, and sometimes even an hour block. If you have an hour block, you could probably do each one of these lessons in one day. Um, if you have a half an hour block, you may want to split them into two days. And then if you have a 45 minute block, you may um, decide that you want to do um, the bulk of everything on the first day and then maybe do like a short review on the second day before you come into the next lesson. So again, I try to do um, several different STEM activities um, for each of my resources because that is another um, standard that the next generation science standards have. Um, and then I have a 70 slide, 79 slide presentation, and we will go over some of these um, today as well. Several different activities that you're going to be able to do. I try to use as many activities that I can. I try to use the materials that you'll be able to find within your classroom so that you're not having to dig deeper down into your pockets and um, to buy more things for your classroom. And then of course I have a flip book that goes along with the presentation and lesson plans. And then if you enjoyed this resource, you may want to check out some of my other resources in my store. And then also my terms of use, um, you can only use this product in your classroom. Please do not share with others outside of your classroom. If they would like to purchase a resource, please give them the link to the resource. Customer tips, and then also my wonderful clip artist that I use um, for this resource. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the lesson plans. This is 44 pages long, and um, each one of them go through one to two days again. Um, I explained how I did that. Um, it gives you your objective, your standards, and your materials. Again, a lot of these materials are things that you can find in your classroom. For instance, this one though, like a flashlight, you're gonna be using that a lot through the light um, portion of um, your teachings and um, you may ask for um, parents to donate a flashlight or if your child, if they can send in a flashlight with their child's name written in um, permanent marker, um, sometimes they will do that as well. I know our, um, our school district provided 10, I think, for each classroom. So we were able to do all of these ex activities. So um, this first day, we're gonna do an introduction. We do have some light cards. I'll show you those in just a minute. Um, I'll have the students um, explore those light cards and then we'll go into the flip book that goes along with this activity. Um, and then I'll show you that while we have that on there. So this flip book here, some of them are upside down because they are double-sided. So this for this particular activity, they're gonna cut and paste um, things that are natural light and human, um, man, human made, and those right here, I'm gonna take you down to where they're, there they are, right there. So they're gonna cut out these and paste them back onto that page. All right, so let's go um, over here, and then here are all of the cards that we go through, and we just talk about, hey, is this man-made? Um, or is this a natural source of light? Um, and so we go through several different cards. All right, so the second day we start exploring shadows. Um, again, the same format. 
Um, and then we also do some outdoor shadows. This one right here, I give you activity cards for because these are things that you, um, that are typically on the PowerPoint presentation, but of course we cannot bring that PowerPoint presentation outside typically. So I do give you your activities that you can do um, with your outdoor shadows. Um, and then this activity here requires some sidewalk chalk so that they can trace their outdoor shadows and see how they move throughout the day. And then of course we have a STEM challenge um, with shadow shapes. Again, um, all of your materials are things that you should be able to use. I do provide these STEM worksheets and um, these do not change. Um, throughout the time you just this, use the same ones over and over again. It's just an ask, imagine plan where they draw it out, create and improve after they test it. Um, but the lesson plans also go in this format as well. So we've got ask, imagine, plan, create, test. So all of those go along with those questions um, in those STEM worksheets and sorry, and improve. And then we also have an extension to each one of those so that they can extend them um, to um, those students that may need a little bit more of a challenge. All right, so going through again, all of these lessons are in the same format. Gives you, um, this one particular in particular gives you some activity materials that you may have either laying around or you may ask your parents um, if they have any of these items. Um, these are just things that you'll be able to um, learn um, how the light goes through them differently. Um, so a lot of um, transparent, uh, translucent, um, opaque, and um, some reflective materials. Again, another STEM activity um, going through the same process of ask, imagine, plan, create, test, and improve. Of course, also has an extension. Um, again, ref going through the same thing with the reflection um, and then also refraction. Um, a few different activities are also in those lesson plans as well. Um, and then the last um, day we talk about communicating with light and we have a wonderful STEM activity to do at the end of those. Oh, and they also have um, task cards about how we use light um, to help us in today's world. And then there's that STEM activity for them to create something to communicate with light. All right, so we are gonna go directly over to our presentation. Um, again, in the very beginning, we will go through your standards um, and then each day starts with either a statement or a question. Um, and then just to get the students engaged into their learning. And then we go over some of those things. Of course, we do an introduction into light and do a small activity of why we need light. Um, almost every day we do have a um, video to watch. I try to do them on PBS versus YouTube because a lot of districts do block YouTube, um, but not PBS I have found. So I try to create um, a lot of video resources that are um, to more educational sites. And then of course you saw that we were doing a flip book activity on natural light and human made light. And we do have task cards that go along with that. So a lot of activities um, that are done. So let's go on to our second one where um, I actually go through the activity on the presentation. So we do have a few different introduction um, video uh, slides that go through the light. We do have a video to engage them. And then here we go. Here is the first activity that you're gonna do um, that are that is hands-on. So you're gonna have your materials that you're gonna need. This one goes through a flashlight, craft sticks, paper cups, a coin, um, a plastic spoon, maybe a metal washer, a clothespin, some aluminum foil. Of course, you can use really anything that's laying around in your classroom that will create a shadow. Um, so we go through flashlight safety. We've got some questions here that you will do um, while you're doing the activity. 
Here comes the second day, another question, going through outdoor shadows, giving the video some of the um, outdoor shadows. Again, we have the activity sheet that you're gonna take outside for all the different activities outside. Here's another day, it starts out with another question. Again, all of the lesson plans go along with this um, presentation as well. Um, going through your different objects, um, and then another video. Here's another activity, gives your materials you need, and then all of the things that you need to do in that activity, and then some questions that we have after that activity. Again, some more things that start off your day, videos, activities, um, and then um, this is one of my favorite activities. There's spoons. I brought my spoons from home, and then of course I just put them in the dishwasher and St uh, sanitize them when I came home because you will have that student that puts a spoon in their mouth every single year um, and you probably know who that student is already. So um, and we've got convex and concave and how can we bend light. Again several activities, several videos that walk you through for engagement um, and then using communication um, with the light. So as you can see, all of these presentations, all of the flip book, the lesson plans, the STEM activities, they all go together. It's no fluff. I didn't like fluff in my classroom. I didn't want extra literacy or extra math things. I already had enough in those subjects. I wanted the meat of what I was teaching and that is what I'm giving to you. I hope that you enjoy this resource.